In this video, we are going to learn how you can create this motion grainy effect inside Photoshop. Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek aka Design Survey and you are in the Design Survey YouTube channel. So without wasting any time, let's get started. You can download this image from my Telegram channel link in the description. Firstly, convert your layer into a smart object. So let me explain why smart object is important. So when you transform your image, you can scale it down and then scale it up. You will lose quality. Also, if you try to apply any filter and adjustment, you can't change the settings. If you convert your layer into a smart object, you can easily transform your image. It will not lose the quality. Also, when you apply any filter and adjustment, you can change or delete them anytime. Basically, it's smarter and indestructive way of working. Now back to the tutorial. After converting your layer into a smart object, simply press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Now go to Filter, Blur and click on Motion Blur. Put angle to 0 and you can change the distance according to your image but for this image 50 works best. Now simply hit OK. Now go to Filter and click on Filter Gallery. Add a graphic pen filter, Stroke is 1, Balance is 49 and Direction is Horizontal. Now add a filter by clicking on this plus icon and from the drop down select half tone pattern size is 1 contrast is 11 and pattern type is line next add a grain filter now you can experiment with the values according to your image and simply hit ok now decrease the opacity a little bit because we want some facial features now again press ctrl or command j to duplicate the layer now in this duplicated layer double click on the motion blur filter and increase the distance to 150 decrease the opacity again and repeat this process one more time now here is the fun part add a gradient map. You can download this gradient pack from the description. Now you can add text and textures and boom you are a photoshop king. If you like short tutorials and amazing design content you can check out my instagram link in the description and also if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one.